I always ask is for people to share their stories so they can kind of influence others into the, the, the process of how it is to be who you are and where you are, are at right now. So what's Ooh. your story? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big question with it a is. big answer. Well, I, um, most importantly, I'm a mother of five kids. Wow. Um, that are all of varying ages, ranging from 7 to 17. Wow. Four of them being boys. I've just got one daughter. She's smack in the middle. She's got two big brothers and two little brothers. Well, at least she's protected. <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse right, for her, right, I'm sure. For sure. Um, so, of course, that comes with its own challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, rewards abundantly, for but sure. challenges. And I think the biggest one is that I'm an only child. Um, so I don't necessarily know how to gauge like normal amounts of sibling rivalry. Right, like, right. <laughs> what's acceptable, what's kind of going to too far right. but um I'm really excited to be raising my kids here because it's where I grew up so I was born in Orlando uh, but me and my parents moved here when I was five there used to be a, a small go-kart park here in Kissimmee called fun and wheels so yeah. it's kind of what came before fun spot same okay. owners yeah, yeah. Um, so my dad was brought to be the GM or mm -hmm. coming in as a manager at that park so okay. that's when we moved here when I was five and I grew up and attended mm -hmm. all Osceola County schools and mm -hmm. Uh, love growing up and, and going to school in Kissimmee because it's just such a wonderfully diverse place and there's really exposure diverse. to so much from yeah. different cultures and language and backgrounds right. and foods and right. Right. you know it's such yeah. a great place to grow up and, sure. and of course it comes with its challenges like any other area and I, yeah. <laughs> I definitely had my you know brushes with not always making the greatest choices as a kid right. Right. and not always picking the best friends right. but you know growing pains of and course. um you know, mm -hmm. just kind of learning the, as you go and sometimes learning really hard ways. Right, tougher ways. <laughs> but you know, those are the best lessons I think sometimes sure. too, is you kind of just have to land on your bottom and, mm -hmm. and realize like, man, I really screwed that up. But right, right, you right. learn the ways to turn it around and see the, to find the silver lining. Right. <laughs> no doubt right. it's dark the cloud gets sometimes. If you look hard enough, there's always a silver lining. <laughs> yeah, there's always the positive and the negative. I always think. Absolutely. So where, where, how did you, or when did you start kind of getting into you know, kind of community engagement, civic engagement with in Osceola County and being kind of involved in local community um, events. Well. Yeah, so I, I think that it's kind of a two-part question there. So mm -hmm. as far as getting community involved, it was just realizing how much I didn't know. Right. But, yeah, sounding silly, but like you don't know what you don't know, you right? Know, yeah. So as I kind of started opening up my eyes to things and going like, man, I, I, I can have and deserve to have a voice in this, right. but I've just completely been so so blind to it. Right. Um, but that's a disservice to me, it's a disservice to my family. Mm -hmm. So I kind of started reaching out and, and putting feelers out and getting a better understanding of the way my community works, my local government, right. politics, and those kind of things. Um, as far as, you know, from a, from a business perspective or, or leading people into to Osceola Mom and, and kind of what that offers is just kind of going back to that saying is, you know, necessity is the mother of all inventions. Mm -hmm. So as a mother of five, um, it certainly is not an affordable thing to entertain right. such a large family. Sure. And yeah. last summer, I was kind of like, you know, in that frantic, like, okay, I've, these kids are driving me nuts. I need yeah. to find something to do. And I'm on Google, like <laughs> cheap things to do in Osceola right. County, free things right. to do in Kissimmee, St. Cloud, whatever the case may be. And yeah. I, I couldn't find any one real, just mm -hmm. um, one stop shop essentially right. for, th and it kept wanting to take me to the theme parks and, yeah, like and into Orlando, Orlando. Right, exactly. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I'm not going to take out a second mortgage on my yeah. home so I can afford on it just a Tuesday afternoon to go to SeaWorld right. for the day or whatever. <laughs> I know because I grew up here that there's definitely plenty of things, mm -hmm. you know, to offer our families. Yeah. I was just looking for one space to kind of, right. you know, be able to locate that. Yeah. So it all kind of went from there. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. So now, um, tell me more so about your organization that you have called Osceola Mom. Yeah, so Osceola Mom, um, you know, I, I think it's really important with business to kind of start and, and map everything out and have a great plan, but then to be willing to change and adapt yeah. as you kind of run into different situations and, yeah. and circumstances that go, okay, this is how I thought this might work, but right. now I'm kind of seeing that right, that's right, not right. really the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, so you definitely have to be willing to learn as you go. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I started out like real, just going all in strong, like a website and a right, this right, and a that, right. and a, you know, trying to plan a million things. And I'm, I'm a one woman show. Right, <laughs> it's right. just me. So, you know, I kind of kept going and seeing what worked and what mm -hmm. didn't work. And why am I going to, you know, put my energy into running, you know, this aspect of it, if right. it's not really something people are engaging in. Right, so, right. 
you know, I think about the demographic, I think about who I'm really trying to serve with it and where mm -hmm. they are. So I, I primarily function on Facebook right. um, because I think that's where most of the moms are. Is, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that, I feel like that can be getting something so much more bigger. Like I feel the moms could be you can have orange, County moms For and uh, sure. Polk County moms and stuff like that. Right. Just all and the it, counties that have a, their own kind of, I, you know. For sure. And I definitely think it's worth mentioning now that there's a young lady who has mm. created St. Cloud Mom and she's gone nice. a step, several steps beyond and we've mm. kind of partnered together. Oh, but she has actually created a 501c3 mm. and she's getting grants and she's that's on the great. board and yeah. she's doing everything from bringing in the Lay Leash League to help mothers mm. with breastfeeding. She's yeah, yeah, yeah. organizing committees to help with um, like postpartum depression support groups, mm -hmm. foster care, mm -hmm. adoption mm -hmm. resources. Um, she's working on getting grants to have a like a diaper yeah. um, closet. I mean, she's doing some That's really great. big things. That's and so great. she's asked me to sit on her board. And so yeah. we're kind of tying the two things together. Awesome. And I'm very excited That's for awesome. the growth. Yeah. yeah. So, so how, what, what advice would you give to um, a mother or a young mother or anyone who would just want to start something like this in their city or community, like what would you tell them the first few steps for them to start? Do their homework, right. um, mm -hmm. see what the need is, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Right. Right. Um, reach out and ask questions to people who are doing similar things, because mm -hmm. um, the, the right people are always willing to help. Um, yeah. you know, they're, ask they're not going to look at you as competition, they're going to look at you as just another person that's trying to serve your community, right, right, which is right. exactly how it should be. Right. Um, you know, and again, just be, be flexible and willing to adapt as mm -hmm. your circumstance and situations change. Like I said, I came into it going, all right, I'm going to do A, B, C, D, E, F, right. and G, and completely didn't think about H, I, J, K. And those <laughs> ended up being the things the that bigger, really needed yeah. my focus the right, most. <laughs> right, right, right. So you just have to be willing to, again, to recognize that you don't know what you don't know, and you need to be willing to, to roll with the change. Nice. All right, all right. That's, and that's awesome though. But I feel like that would definitely be great in all if every county had their own Absolutely. Of moms or yeah. that would be great. That's awesome. Well, thank you for sharing your story as well. Thank as you for letting me share. How can people, you know, find you on either social media or as a website or how can they find Osceola Moms in you? Uh, absolutely. So uh, Facebook, Osceola Mom. Instagram is The Osceola Mom. I'll give you my phone number. You can call me. You need help. You need a question. You need yeah. a resource. You want to start your own business. Uh, you can you can call me. Alvin's got my number. Yes, I do. I will. So, <laughs> so, I'll, I'll, it'll be in the video. So absolutely. Sure. Yeah. So, I'm always happy. I love supporting small business. I nice. especially love to support female business owners nice. and anyone that's trying to build something yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and just give back to the community. Because honestly, at the end of the day, you can take away all the fluff. That is what it boils down to. It's just giving back to the community. And that's what I, I tell people all the time. It's like this community, this town is what raised me. So it just, it brings me so much joy to give back to it. Yeah. Thank you very much.